In this lesson, you will learn how to set up a four-digit PIN for the administrator and the users. Now let me begin by telling you why this is important. This feature allows you to secure your post space with a four-digit PIN. That's why it's important. Now we will begin by going to Edit and Customize. Up on the top left, go ahead and choose that. You notice that you have five choices you have users right here. But before we begin this, I'm going to go ahead and explain the difference between these two, the users and the accounts. A lot of people get these mixed up because most of the time they put an individual's name for the account and you can very well do that, but you must know that the accounts is an individual, it's, it's a department within a corporation that you're trying to keep accountability in. The user is just a user within the department. There's no accountability taken here. As long as you guys know that the accounts are the departments, you can keep accountability, and the user is just the individual that you're trying to create and give them a four digit security pin. Okay, so now go ahead and choose users. And you will notice that you have the administrator and the option to create a new user. Now let me explain the difference between these two. The administrator can be compared to the administrator on a PC. They have rights over all the operation and they can go ahead and have the power to create a user for the PC. And the user is like the user on a PC. They don't have the rights to change stuff unless the administrator gives them the option to. So now that you guys know that, we're gonna go ahead and choose administrator. Choose the pencil for edit. I am going to put the administrator's name on there and I'm going to go ahead and give him a four digit security pin that nobody knows only he knows you're going to choose the next arrow button and in this section right here would normally be all the accounts that are in the machine and in this section are all the accounts that uh, the administrator or the user has rights to. The program automatically by default chooses the administrator to have rights over all the accounts. And you can see them on this side. Go ahead and choose next. It would go ahead and give me a user profile summary. Very quickly it would just show you uh, the name of the administrator their four digit secret four pin code and it would show you the number of accounts that he has access to it would show a monthly budget there's no limit pieces per month max postage no limit on all that and he has access to downloading postage I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and choose finish by clicking on the finish check mark and you have created the administrator now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a user, an individual user within the department. Go ahead and click on create new user and I'm going to go ahead and put the user's name. Then I'm going to give him a four digit pin that no one is supposed to know. It's a secret code to add security to that user. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on the next arrow key. And again, on this side are all the different accounts that are within the machine itself. And here on this side are the ones that I allow him to have access to. Me being the administrator have the right to choose what I want this user to have access to. So I'm going to go ahead and give him access to technical support by clicking on the account and then choosing this arrow key on the top and clicking on it and it will go ahead and move that account over to this section here. Now at this point you can choose to give the user a only access to one account but the nice thing about this program is you can choose to have multiple accounts that he can have access to. I'm also going to give him access to customer support. Now he's going to have only access to those two. Go ahead and click on the next button. 
Now it asks me if I want to set a budget, pieces, or maximum postage. Now I want no limit on any of that, but if you choose to give a person a limit, you have to uncheck the check mark, and then you can choose the amount of the monthly budget. I don't want one for him, so I'm just going to go ahead and check it again, and then he has no monthly limit for pieces, for budget, and the max printable postage. Now down here in this section, this little check mark right here is if I want this person to be able to download postage. That's what postage value download means, which also is known as teleset. I don't want this person to download mode postage in there. Only I, sh I, I want to be the only one to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it and then press the next arrow key. Then it's going to give me a quick profile. It's going to give me the person's name, their four digit secret pin, and the default account. And it's also going to give me the number of accounts he only has access to. And then it's going to give me the monthly budget. There's no limit on that pieces per month and the max postage she's able to use and I put no limit on any of that then I also have that he is not able to download postage I'm happy with that so I'm gonna say finish now I've created my user then you have access to do another one if you like to create a new user why don't you guys go ahead and give this a try thank you